Welcome to your 20th web scraping tutorial and in this tutorial I've just been working on that algorithm a little bit more. So basically what I built is I have the URL and it gets the readable article and the readable title. Next it sends um, out to my algorithm test1.translate string which I wrote. The first argument it takes is your home language so whichever language the article is written in and the second argument you give it is which language you, you would like to translate it into and then the third argument you give it is the string that you want to translate that on so right now I'm just going to get some text from this um, article right here so then I'll open a new page and I'll type in translate so translate and now I'll go to Google Translate and I'll paste in some of this English and I'll translate it to Chinese. Next I will copy the Chinese and I will um, I'll actually open a new a new browser. So control T to open a new tab. I will add a new I'll just go translate again. So translate and then I will grab the text from here that's in Chinese and I will translate it back to English. So what it says in the original article is it says nothing beats the raw power of a laptop and browser for academia and research. And when I translate that Chinese it says than the raw power of a laptop the, and browser, academia, and research, Firefox play a good combination with numerous academic applications. It says Firefox plays well in this combo with numerous app, academic apps. So it's basically not exactly the same. It's a little bit different. And I think that, I don't think Google will be able to determine um, it's the same article. So if you just translate something twice, if you send it to be translated to another language, and then you take the response that it gives you, and you send it through the same function again, but you reverse it, and you get back a different thing. So right now I'm just going up to this article here, which is um, tech news here. And if I go back, here's that article. So I'll just read so here what I do is I print out the first 40 characters of the original string, I print out the Chinese, and then I print out the Chinese translated back to English. So it says serious scholars may not think that whatever, and then it says the serious scholar may not have thought. So it actually translates it absolutely perfectly. So I'm going to print the first 100 characters of each of these. And afterwards, I might send a syn put a synonym algorithm out, um, across the entire response. Um, but I'll do that later as another module. If Google starts catching on, I might add a, um, a synonym replacement algorithm as well. So once I get this text back, I'll run it through another module, and it will even more obfuscate the, the text. So I'll run this. So it says, serious scholars may not have thought that a more mere browser add-on could have much thought to offer as research aid. And it says, the serious scholar may not have thought just a browser add on a lot of research to provide assistance. So it, this one uses aid, this one uses assistance. I'll go th from 100 to 200. Um, Just see the next hundred characters because it's a little monotonous if you print all this out at once so it says but they would be surprised there are a great many academically oriented tools it says but they would be surprised there are a lot of academic oriented tools that can be used so um it's a little bit different it's it's not that much different so what right now what i'm doing is i'm going to um I'm going to the web browser and I'm just playing around with the, um, the
Google Translate um, site and I'm trying to figure out which language to translate it to or which combinations of language languages obfuscate the code, obfuscate the uh, text as much as possible, but still retain the logical um, logical nature of the text. Because what I don't want to do is I don't want to just switch all the words order, or then when some real person reads it, they'll be like, huh, this makes absolutely no sense. I don't want to read this. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're also going to be deploying this code on many different languages. And actually, we don't need to um, do anything to this Chinese. We can just put this right into a WordPress database. And because it's a different language, Google won't even care. And I don't know how um, how good the Chinese um, search engine is, Beidou. Their stock is pretty volatile, but I don't know how they're, they are as a company. Um, so yeah, this is this art, this uh, algorithm is almost ready to be deployed. So hopefully I can have this algorithm deployed in the next few days and I can start uh, monetizing it. And also, I might release the translate algorithm, but I don't know if I should because it's um, it uses a Google service. So I don't know. Uh, also, um, I'm, I'm not just going to be using AdSense ads because I'm going to use a content locking or a subscription service. So someone who visits the site, they'll be able to view 10 pages for free. And then it, a little pop up will come up and it'll say, you have to register for the premium in order to view more pages. And it'll just store a session variable or something. And it will be a model pop up so the text is still underneath. So if they know how to like block the pop up, they can still read everything. But um, I think that it will get enough people to subscribe. And also, it's much more profitable to have a subscription based service that charges them monthly or annually because um, that's the difference between making like hundred thousand dollars and like a million dollars is having um, the ability to have recurring payments on a subscription so thank you for watching your 20th web scraping tutorial and in the next tutorial I will hopefully have this entire translation and um, article uh, paraphrasing algorithm done and then in the future I'll integrate the Web, web crawler with the paraphraser so it will crawl pages and automatically give me back paraphrased results so that's the ultimate goal of this algorithm here and then I'll just dump it into the WordPress database so thank you for watching your 12th web I mean your 20th web scraping tutorial